It is that time in the program where we answer your COVID-19 questions. And joining me tonight with her advice, opinions, knowledge, infectious diseases specialist, Dr. Allison McGear. Dr. McGear, always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, let's start with this first question. It's a pretty straightforward one, but a hard one. When can I hug my grandkids? And I suppose that's going to depend on, on where in the country you live. I, it, it, the answer is not soon enough. Yeah. Um, I, I think for everyone who has grandchildren, uh, it is going to depend on where you live in this country. It is going to depend very much on what happens in the next two or three weeks as we start to move gradually into releasing restrictions. So uh, really all you can say is please try to be patient a little longer. We do know how hard it is. Um, but we've also watched Italy and New York City, and we also know how hard the alternative is. Right. Another question. Is the virus mutating? That's a really good question today, because just today there's been this whole series of papers out about uh, a major mutation in what's called the spike protein, the protein that sticks out of the virus and, and binds to cells. It's generated a lot of discussion about whether virus that has that change in it is actually more transmissible or maybe more virulent. I don't know the answer yet, um, but it's really the first time that we've seen a mutation that looks like maybe it has some importance. And I, that's obviously a concern. We've been very worried about whether this coronavirus can mutate and become different over time. And there's kind of good news, bad news, okay? It's good news that it's four months before we saw the first thing, bad news that we've seen it now. Um, and I, again, we really don't know where this is going. We don't even know if this mutation is truly important, um, but we don't have any idea of the speed with which this virus is gonna change over time. Right, because I wonder, is that a setback for all the work on, on developing a vaccine? Well, yes and no, probably not. I mean, I think everybody's going back to look at their vaccines and to ask whether that change is going to make a difference to how well their vaccines work. Um, but in, you know, in general, the people who've been working on vaccines know this is going to happen. So this is not unexpected. And I, I don't think it's at a level that's going to set back anybody's vaccine development plans. Okay. Dr. McGear, always good to talk to you. Thanks so much.